Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and oh my god, I haven't done like a commentary like this in a long time. Might be a little rusty, but let's get straight into video. So as you see from the title, the game or sorry not the game, the characters aren't OP, but they are too safe. I've been doing some real thinking. Like I said, ever since I left Harley as a main, you know, because I was I used to be a one trick and I used to play Harley, but after I feel like she's not where she was anymore and I feel like there's just better options. I've definitely opened my eyes up more to the cast and the rosters um, and balancing and stuff, in my honest opinion. Uh, but even then, now really looking at it, I don't even think any character um, was ever broken. Just more too safe. Like even Velma. Like back then, Velma in Evil, I think she. Nah, I'm joking. Nah, that character was unhealthy, unfair. Thank God. But <laughs> I honestly feel like a lot of these characters are just too safe, is which makes them seem like they're so OP. Because if you really think about it, if you look at any of these characters' kits, like they are so amazing very unique and to their character you know like when you see them do your move you're like yeah that's what they would do in a fighting game yeah that's what they would do in in, in the show you know if they had to fight and stuff and i love it I, I love that they did that but when it comes to fighting game you you need that balance in all these characters and i don't think moves were ever too strong but too safe for example batman as you've seen um clips before that i used to post all the time Batman, you, you just throw out a move, and if you miss, it's okay. You just you just dodge again. Arya, you 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 you, you know you you juggle juggle a little bit. You throw out a move, you dodge. You can throw that again. You up special, um, you know you miss. It's okay if they're still above you. Just up attack. You're, you're gonna hit them. LeBron, you know you dunk. It's okay. Just just reset and try it again. And I think that's where the issue of all these characters come from is that they have these great moves that are so rewarding, even if it's not like a kill confirm. Well, a hit that could lead into amazing combos into a massive damage there's just no punish window on them missing it and it just gives them you know another chance to just do it again and but yeah if you're not new to my twitter you already know what i'm gonna say is whiff recovery these characters need whiff recovery now i believe they did this last month i want to say it was around yeah december the 5th is when they actually added their first pass on the global whiff recovery and i'm gonna be honest it wasn't enough it was a good start, but it wasn't enough. The fact that some of these characters literally had zero whiff recovery, and I mean zero. Look at Rain Dog. You see this jab? Zero. That that is crazy. And some people are probably saying, "But when would you do that in, in a real game?" That's not the point. The point is, is that when you go for a jab like that and you miss, guess what? Your opponent be like, "Oh, you missed. Let me try to punish you." You just dodge right after and do it again, or you dodge right after and reset. This is where it is unhealthy in a fighting game and healthy in multiverses i think a lot of people wouldn't care for a lot of people's combos combo games unless it was you know more punishable it's like oh okay you keep um fishing for that and you keep missing i'm gonna keep punishing you you know you reach i teach but how multiverses is there isn't no teaching it's it's you reach and you repeat <laughs> you reach and you repeat and that was, I think, that's like where it comes really health, um, unhealthy in this game. And I feel like if more of that stuff gets kind of added, and I'm not talking about no crazy thing like other fighters, like Brahala or traditional fighters where you really feel it and you're just stuck there. I just mean, you, there just needs to be a decent sized window where you can um, punish them when they go for a move, especially big moves. Big moves should, you should feel like you're stuck. But like little jabs and stuff, you shouldn't feel crazy stuck, but you should definitely feel like, damn, I miss. He's close enough to punish me. You know, he neutral dodged me perfectly, he could punish me, cool. The fact that you could literally neutral dodge in this game to, to dodge someone's attack and try to attack again right after and get punished by them by dodging and attacking you is just crazy to me. Like, I hopefully I can find the clip, but pretty much I was Harley and this Batman is, is about to stare me. I perfectly neutral dodge and, and I say the frame of me dodging, I instantly start attacking this guy dodges again and just hits me. How? Batman, how? You you just miss. Let me let me punish you. It's my turn. <laughs> but 
But yeah, so going back to the patch notes, like they finally added um, a whole bunch of wolf recovery on a lot of characters. Still not completed. A lot of characters still need it, and some of the moves that they gave with recovery still needs a little bit more because if you don't know what they've been adding was like five frames, and if you don't know what five frames is, it's like literally zero point, yeah, zero point zero one of a second, and like they add five of that, and it's like that's not enough. <laughs> Like, like the the biggest one that I feel like they they did a really good job on was Finn was Finn neutral attack and um and Rain Dog's up attack. They added ten, no, they added twelve, and they added ten on his up attack, and then Finn I think they added like eleven or something. Is it eleven? Yeah, eleven with recovery frame. That actually felt like there's a second where I could actually punish you, and I think that's what all the characters need. Obviously, jab shouldn't be exactly like that, so maybe like half of it, maybe maybe like three fourths of it, cool, but. The big rewarding moves where it's just like, it, especially if it has a lot of priority, those moves needs it because it's like, it's a big move. It's, it's the same, it's the same, it's the saying. High risk, uh, yeah, no, high reward, high risk. Medium reward, medium risk, you know? There should not be no high reward, low risk. For example, in this patch of the whiff recovery, I'ma say it, even though I play him, I'ma say it. LeBron's dunk. This dunk can do a combo this dunk is a confirmed kill this dunk can add weakness if it's done with your teammate and the funny thing is i'm okay with that right i i've accepted all these characters bs and their crazy combos and their crazy stuff right but i cannot accept that there's no punish window for missing if a lebron misses his dunk bro he should feel like damn i'm about to get fucked up right now but the fact that he just knows it's like, oh, I missed. <laughs> I'm just going to dodge away and do it again. It's just like, bro, why can you do that? You shouldn't have to do that. That move is so good into comboing or killing someone around 90 to 100 with just one push of a button. And you're telling me if you miss that, you can literally dodge out of it instantly. It just doesn't make sense, man. That is a high reward with zero risk. And I just feel like all these characters need it. Like, don't get me wrong. There's some characters that are decently fine that can, um, you know, do a little justice with a little bit more. But then there's just, there, there's just like, there's actually just villains out here that's just like running around doing what the hell they want nonstop. I'm just sitting like, you shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I never thought any of these characters um, were really OP. Now, like, really looking at it, I just think they're too safe. You know. I would love to know what y'all opinions is on that, so leave y'all comments down below on that. Uh, this is your first time you're watching my videos, man. Hit the subscribe button, guys. 2023, this is the year we're going to go crazy with the content. And hopefully enjoying the thumbnails. Yeah, these are my thumbnails. Yeah, I'm doing them. I know, they're ugly. Don't worry, they're going to get better. Trust me, I'm I'm running this nice little format, this formula, where I'm going to have this type of thumbnail to be this, and then this type of thumbnail to be this, and da 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 But yeah, that's it for the video, guys. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace. And she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got a 9 to 5 on the side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find